Hi beautiful people, welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in this world. Everybody is having an amazing week so far. Hump day already, the half the week is gone. Before we get into this video, my usual disclaimer, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Brandy Joy has been so critical of the Duggar kids. I apologize if anybody gets offended by me saying kids, I know they are adults. I apologize. So her recent target now has been Ginger. Ginger is coming out with a book called Becoming Free Indeed. She did make a four minute video on a YouTube channel just telling you how this whole thing came about and why she decided to write this book. As I said, it's a very, very short video, just over four minutes long. I'll leave it down in the description box. Feel free to go and watch it. Ellie Joy decided to now, I think this is like the second video she's made about Ginger coming out with a book. Why she decided to write this book and how this is the beginning of Ginger being shunned. Now, let me state this to you guys. Ginger came out and made this announcement. To date, Katie Joy has done two videos on this in a space of a day. Two videos. So let's take a look and see what she has to say. This is, as I said to you guys, bear in mind, this is her second video talking about this. In her video, she specifically said, I went to a family conference in Big Sandy or something. No, she went to, I went to a conference at Big Sandy for the Institute in Basic Life Principles. I noticed that people that normally would be there were gone and I was wondering what happened. I started to do my own research, yada, 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 here we are today. No, Katie Joy, this was Ginger's exact words. I first had the idea to write this book back in 2017. Jeremy and I had just attended a conference in Big Sandy, Texas for an organization called Institute in Basic Life Principles. While there, I saw dozens of people I'd grown up with, friends who, like me, had come to Big Sandy every year to sit under the teachings from a man named Bill Gothard. But for every old friend that I saw that week, there was one or two who I expected to see who wouldn't show up. In the coming months and years, I'd start to hear stories of those friends and I'd find out that some of them no longer wanted anything to do with Christ or Christianity. Here we are today and now she's writing a book about, you know, the fact that this theolo theology has hurt people. Now, if you had listened to that four minute video, okay, Ginger clearly stated that she wrote this book for herself. This is her journey, a journey of discovery, journey of disentangling journey of faith and journey of discovery and hope so she did mention that she did run into friends when she went to this conference or this camp in 2017 with her husband and she also mentioned that she didn't see quite a few people that she normally sees there but over the years she learned and heard why those friends of hers was no longer there Ginger did not write this book because of those friends. Ginger wrote this book because she felt she was misled. Let's get that clear. And she promised never before store, never before told stories like behind the scenes situations that happened at her house while she was growing up, while the cameras were there, but the cameras never caught. And so she says it's not going to be a tell all, but I said, in my video yesterday that I don't expect it to be a tell-all. Now I want to bring attention to something to you guys. Before Katie Joy did this video, this is what she posted. Katie says that in her video yesterday, she didn't expect it to be a tell-all. But then she makes a post on her Facebook with clips from Ginger's four minute video. And as you can see, the first uh, clip says, or she inserts, saying that she will not share stories from her life, but this is not a tell-all. To me, that seems very uh, condescending, very arrogant. And then she goes on and she says, please do not push John MacArthur. His teachings hurt people too. It's not a tell-all. What, what is she trying to do? And then she has to take the last jab and says, it's not a tell-all, but Katie Joy, 
This is how fucked up you are. This is how you manipulate your audience. You say one thing on one platform, but run to another platform, unleash your sarcasm, unleash exactly how you feel. So knowing those people that do follow you on YouTube, maybe they don't have Facebook or Instagram or whatever else you're posting the shit on. Wow. When you're debate, when you discuss what's happening in an IBLP home, you don't really have to disparage. You just have to describe the way that you lived. And most survivors have stories that are just so sad. And when you hear about how scared and fearful kids grow up under this, and how you know they feel like they didn't get a good education, uh, they they dealt with a lot of like stress and anxiety because they never felt like they were good enough. And there was no time for questions. So if you questioned anything, it was just like, no, you have to blindly obey. So critical thinking is important, which is why she said to her siblings or people that Ginger made it very clear that this book is for everyone thinking about leaving or being hurt in a certain situation. This is her journey. Maybe her journey can be an inspiration or it can be a way for somebody else to see the light. She didn't say this book was for her siblings. Absolutely not. But you see what Katie Joy does. She puts ideas in people's heads because this is gonna lead to something down the road, which I'm gonna get into. Necessary and a good thing to question what it is that you learn, okay? And why you should, what you've learned and you should understand like, is this the truth? Uh, let me look at the book. Let me evaluate other options. Let me think outside of this ins insular box, okay? So after she put out the video, she posted a few links on her Instagram and I was like, all right, let's see who from the family actually likes the video, right? Uh, who is going to comment and who likes them? Tell me something, does it truly matter to you guys? You be the judge, you guys let me know. Does it truly matter if any of her family members do comment on a post or interact on her post? Because the way I look at it, knowing these people are under such scrutiny, I don't believe that they would interact on her videos or leave comments on a post because of people like Katie Joy, how they would twist things around. Maybe many more of her siblings are very, very proud of what she's done. Maybe they are going to follow in her footsteps and maybe they've reached out to her privately, you know? Because I just watched a video of Joanna, when Joanna actually announced her pregnancy. She found so many of her siblings on FaceTime, including Jill, Jessa, all these people. And it seems they have a very good relationship. They're in communication with each other. We saw Tough Topic actually posted how Jill is in communication with the sisters. So they may not be doing things publicly, but privately it's a different story, which I think irks Katie Joy. So that's why she'll lead down the road of making her own accusations and assumptions. She posted three separate posts and obviously she is doing a lot of like pre-sales publicity right now. So she's, you know, ramping up to sell. Newsflash, Katie Joy. When you write a book, when it's leading up to the book being distributed to the public, it's just an organic thing to promote your book. There's nothing wrong with her promoting her book, but you got to be so dramatic. It's like she's doing this worst thing under the sun by actually promoting a book. It's like, really? I did ask her a question. If On the second post that she posted, I did ask a question if there's going to be any resources offered to IBLP survivors in the book, like if she'll have suggestions for survivors on anything that she might have used. She didn't respond. Now, realistically, Katie Joy, do you really think that she would have responded to you? Did you for one minute, I'll give you this, Better try and fail than fail to try. But come on, let's be realistic. Do you really think that they would have responded to you? Especially a question like that. You want to know if resources are offered. Huh? 
Do you have any resources offered for those same people from the IBRP that reach out to you, the victims, the survivors, the people that have left? Have you? Because you made it quite clear. You're not here to give out resources. That's not your job. Remember that? But I still would love to know that from her if she has any plans to have resources available. I also would love to know if she plans to use any of the profits for this to help other people potentially leave or what, you know, what the goal is here. Now this takes it for me. This takes it for me. Do you, Katie Joy, use any of the profits that you make to potentially help any survivors? Do you do that? Because the way you exploit survivors and victims is shameful. And that's the least you can do, in my opinion. And um, I know this is not my place, but I would like to make it my place. Let me answer the question for you on behalf of Ginger. Not your fucking business. Period. It's, there's a lot of people that have had some concerns about her continuously, like putting all these books out. Like, is she doing this genuinely? Is this because there's all these like, documentaries come out? You know, there's literally been some survivors in my comments from the IBLP that are like, yes, I really like this. And then other survivors that are like, mm, it's too soon. I call bullshit because how would anybody else know what's good enough for Ginger? No, when it is too soon or not, or what's the best route for Ginger to take, or how Ginger feels. Not anybody's business to make that criticism upon her. Everyone is different. KJ is creating all this bullshit for herself, to create content for herself, in my opinion or I don't like that Jeremy, his church is involved in this. You know, there's always going to be people that have criticism. Now you see, I, I was waiting for her to actually mention Jeremy because in my opinion, Katie Joy will never, ever be accepting of Ginger. In regard to her moving forward, even if Ginger has to become an atheist, Katie Joy will never ever be accepting of her because of her feelings towards Ginger's husband, Jeremy. She's made it quite clear how she does not like him. Check this out. I don't like that Jeremy, his church is involved in this. You know, there's always going to be people that have criticism. So we're plotting her first step out. What? what? Plotting her first step out? That's just a weird choice of words. Don't you think? Does anybody else think this? Who, who says that? What? And we'll see how this goes. And I will be reading the book and reviewing it on this channel. So if you're, if you have questions or you're doubting, like if you should buy it, we will review it in total on this channel. Let me be very clear about this people. If you have questions, buy the book. Be your own judge. Because Katie Joy is not going to sit there and read you page by page by page. No, she's not going to do that. I can be so confident that when Katie Joy reviews this book, 95% is going to be negative about this book. But look what she did to them when they put out their children's book. There may have been one or two issues that a lot of people were actually not happy about but look how she tore into ginger for this book please do not get me wrong i'm not telling anyone how to spend their money all i am saying is kj is only going to give you the negative in my opinion in regard to this book if you truly want to know about ginger's journey buy the book pass it on now in ending this video i believe these people and I'm talking about the Duggar kids, not adults. They deserve grace and time. She explained how kids are not allowed to question. They must only obey. They must do nothing outside of the realm of that religion, what they are being taught on a daily. Now, taking Ginger as an example, 
she has probably seen the light. And it took for her to be cut off or out of the claws of Jim Bob for her to realize that what she was taught was not right. Her husband probably helped her. Same thing with Joe. And let's go back, you guys. When Katie Joy first started reporting on the Duggars, she could not stand Joel. She hated Derek. Now look at today. She's all about them and only them. The same thing could be going on with Ginger. Jeremy could have shown Ginger the light. You get what I'm saying, you guys? Do not write them off. These girls have been through hell, as I said, hell. Imagine, and only now, later on in their life, are they allowed to feel no right from wrong, learn what they truly felt within their hearts, and know that they can act on how they felt within themselves because they don't have Jim Bob telling them, this is what you're going to do and this is what you're going to say. Because in my humble opinion, Katie Joy knows she has an audience. Katie Joy profits off these girls' pain. Let's be clear about that. She is not going and helping victims in the IBLP. She's not helping survivors. In my opinion, all she does is exploit them. She uses their stories for her financial gain. So a lot of people will come at me and say, oh, but she gives money to this, she gives money to that. Not the point. It's about helping victims and survivors. Not about just once in a while, donate here, donate there. This woman makes bank and I'm not knocking a hustle. Why is she going to question what the fuck Ginger does with her profits? Ginger deserves everything Ginger gets. Get over it, Katie Joy. So you guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Please be safe out there. Talking about being safe, I know Orlando, Florida, is having another hurricane. You guys, please be safe. Please, please, please. Please have a wonderful rest of your week. Be kind to one another and don't forget, make good memories. Bye, guys.